Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe for more groovy videos. Now if you'll excuse me. We got a water win. Hey guys welcome to another Transformers discussion video. Today this is going to be about the most powerful Transformers artifact and Mick Guffin of the 2007 Transformers film. And basically the whole plot for every other Mick Guffin in Transformers media. I do want to let you know that there are some things that I may not know. I'm human after all. What do you think being human means? That's what we do. We make mistakes. Sometimes out of those mistakes come the most amazing things. I also want to give people heads up, we already know. This is for the sake of plot, but this is something I would like to explore more on. You could say this is a plot hole, but I'm just curious why this wasn't done already or before. Again I know, if it wasn't a problem in the movie it doesn't need to be explored, but this kind of is a problem that I have with. So the reason for this video is because, if the AllSpark can bring stuff to life or repair slash rebuild Transformers, how come they didn't use the cube to repair Bumblebee's legs? I would have forgiven Megatron being revived, because the Decepticons used a shard of the AllSpark, and there's no telling how much power it has, in order to repair or bring Transformers to life. Which is why the Decepticons needed to kill the little one. I mean the AllSpark is able to bring Transformers to life like in Sam's kitchen and jet fire from the museum. But the Autobots have the cube to fix his legs and even his voice box. By the way his voice was fixed in TF1, they retcon his voice box being broken again, because we liked his radio voice, and it was cool, it was also what made him unique among the original five. Permission to speak, sir. Permission granted, old friend. You speak now? You could say they didn't want to accidentally bring Transformers to life like Sam did. But how would we know? Sam literally ran and fell to the ground with the all spark and caused a chain reaction. Bumblebee could have just used the cube to tap his fucked up legs and bada bing bada boom new legs, new voice box. The all spark was able to rebuild Friends' body within the matter of seconds while he was literally under it and didn't have to touch it, if that's not discrimination I don't know what is. Did the Autobots not know the true power of the AllSpark? I call BS, because if Bumblebee can reduce the cube into a Micromaster then one of the Autobots should know a lot more about the cube other than having the power to turn Earth's machines into Transformers and to commit cubicide. That's suicide. No, it's cubicide. Killing yourself with the AllSpark is called cubicide. Am I missing something? Can someone explain what is with the AllSpark? Using double standards like Twitch does, having hot tub streams on a gaming platform and all the other BS Twitch does. If you know anything why this didn't happen other than plot wise leave it in the comments. And that's all for now, I will have another video coming out soon. To entertain my fellow subscribers be sure to share with other Transformers fans who like this content. If you haven't, check out my playlist with more Transformers discussions, you can also check out my Transformers memes playlist, and have a good laugh, anyways thanks for watching I hope you enjoyed yourself, give the video a like, give the video a shout out, above all, give the channel a groovy, subscriber.